my channel. This is your girl Sean. I'm back for another video. In this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a letter that was sent to me from one of you. If you're brand new to my channel and you like love and relationship advice videos, fashion related content, lifestyle content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for that. But also be sure to hit that little bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. That way you'll never miss an upload from your girl. And in case you don't know it, I'm actually an author and I've written three books. The first one's called The Dating Game, How to Find Yourself While Looking for Mr. Right, my second book, Breaking the man code, the key to unlocking his heart, and my third book, Getting Unstuck, how to create the life you've always wanted to live. They're all available on Amazon, Kindle, Barnes and Noble.com. I'll be sure to link all three of my books below so you guys can check them out. Also, follow me on Instagram if you like daily, you know, inspiration, daily dating tips and things like that. I know you have your phone out, so take a moment, I'll wait, pull out your phone, Follow at Life Coach Sean. You won't regret it, okay? And if you want to work with me one on one as your personal life and dating coach, send me an email to it's coach Sean at gmail.com. That's it's coach Sean, S H A W N, at gmail.com. That's also where you're going to send your letters for a chance to possibly have it featured in an upcoming video. All right, so now without any further ado, let's go get them. Hey Coach John, I've been watching you since college and you helped me so much on my journey. I know how this goes, so I promise to be short. She wasn't. But okay. I graduated college and moved back home in August 2018. Started a new job in September 2018 and on my first day I met a guy. There was an immediate attraction but since I was new and I was the youngest in the office I actually tried to stay away from him. He started coming to my desk all the time and even waiting for me after work two hours after he would get off. He told me during casual co-worker talk that he was 32, I'm 22 and he has a 17 year old daughter and although he has a good job he hit some hard times and had to move in with his brother's family. Family. I thought okay because I wasn't trying to be anything with him so I didn't care. <laughs> However, two months go by and I agree to go on a date. On the date, I immediately started asking questions. Are you married? Why not? What's your relationship like with your child's mother? What are your intentions with me? Of course, he reassured me on everything. Fast forward eight months, we go on dates all the time. We take trips, he pays my bills, but I still feel like we're going nowhere. Never met the family, doesn't talk about a future together, etc. So I started feeling like I was wasting my time. So I break things off but he never left me alone. I started watching some of your old videos recently and you mentioned in one of those that if you can't verify what a man is telling you about himself there may be a problem. So I come up with a plan. The day before the 4th of July I call him with plans that include the both of us getting together at his brother's house. Yes I invited myself over but just to see what he would say. He proceeds to act sleep. Then he tells me that he can't because he invited some of his dad's friends over and they're pretty judgmental. Well his dad is dead so that didn't make any sense. So I do a little more research and not only does he not live with his brother, but he is married with many kids that he has never told me about. I feel betrayed and I'm furious because he obviously has been lying to me since before we even got together, just plotting on me. I found his wife's number online, but if I told her it would only hurt her and I'd only be doing it out of spite. A part of me wants to use him to keep paying my bills. Oh, but a part of the reason that I'm in this spot is because I didn't ask God about him from the jump. So another part of me is saying, move on, get right with God, let God handle it. But I work with him every day and I'm boiling inside. So that was her initial letter to me. And then like two days later, she ended up sending me a follow up and here it goes. Just following up, I called and confronted him. He tried denying it all until I gave him his wife's name and read off her number to him. Then he got quiet and didn't say anything. I hung up in his face and he never called, text, or anything. And now he hasn't come to work today. Coach Sean, you always make a post about how to leave a man and how women should get what they deserve and I've listened. I know this man is not a catch but I still feel like it's a slap in the face. I haven't been able to eat for three days. I just feel like throwing up all the time. I need to find peace of mind and I'm a pinch away from calling his wife. Now, first of all, there's a lot that I want to say. I can see that you're beating yourself up about it and I feel like there are a lot of things that you did do right but there was something really big that you did wrong which is why I wanted to go ahead and do your particular strawberry letter. The things that you did right. You asked the right questions. Are you married? Is there anyone on the planet who, say, who thinks that she's married to you? Why have you never gotten married? What's your relationship like with your child's mother? You asked all the right questions. He just lied to you. And I know it's very little consolation to you at this point, but I would much rather say a man lied to me than to say I never asked. There are a lot of people who get in the situation that you're in because they simply never asked. 
He just was a liar, a stone cold liar. So honestly, I feel like the best advice that I could say for this entire letter, your entire situation, for anybody watching this who's in a similar situation is to trust but verify. Because a man will say and do anything to get what he wants. And that's what he was willing to do. He's willing to lie to your face all the way down to you saying your wife's name is so-and-so and her number is so-and-so. He was gonna lie and lie and lie to the very bitter end. And then he didn't show up at work because he probably was scared that you would tell his wife. Maybe that was the spark that he needed to finally tell her himself. He'd much rather it come from him than from you coming out of nowhere. But like you said in your letter, if you told her it would just be out of spite, you just want to hurt him the way that you feel that he's hurt you. I felt like he had his eyes on you from the very beginning. That's why he was pushing up on you as soon as you got to that job, trying to make sure his male coworkers didn't get to you first. He was a user and a manipulator. And he thought if he moved everything quick enough, you would never find out. And that's exactly what happened. That's the one thing that I want to mention that you did wrong. You didn't verify until your feelings got involved. This would have been cut off so quickly had you made him prove things to you. A man with nothing to hide has no problem proving themselves to you. Honestly, I feel like as long as you're okay with the situation, he'll keep it going. I think he wanted a sugar baby. And I think that's what he saw in you, a younger girl who wasn't looking for anything serious, who he can have a little bit of fun with. Maybe he got bored in his marriage, been married for a long time. It's not exciting or spicy anymore. And that's why he has you. He looks forward to going to work so he can be, he can be the kind of person that he wants to be. He could be young and fun. And that's what you represent to him. You represent an escape for him. That's why he's taking you on trips and paying your bills. I think that's how he sees you. I think he thought he would be your sugar daddy. And as long as you were okay with not telling his wife, you can get anything you wanted out of him. But he didn't expect you to be somebody with some morals, somebody who's decent, who wants her own man, who doesn't want to share. I feel like the only reason why you want to tell the wife is because you want to get back at him and you think that it will make you feel better. But to be honest, I don't think it will. The pain that he caused you is not going to feel better with anything except for time. There's nothing he can say, nothing he could do. You're not going to hurt him enough to make yourself feel better. The problem is you knew better and that's what hurts. Like you said, you, you asked the questions, you did everything you were supposed to do and you're like, how did he still get me? Because like you said, you didn't even think to pray about it until it was too late. If you had prayed about it, God would have gave you that urge to start verifying earlier. And things wouldn't have added up. I feel for you because you feel bad because you thought you knew better. But we've all been in situations like this before. Love has made a fool of all of us at least once in our lifetime. So you're not the first person to get played. He's just a player. I wouldn't be surprised if, if he hasn't done this with every new girl that comes to work for this job. He saw you and he saw his opportunity. I know the situation is awkward, like you said, because you work with him and that's why office romances rarely work because if they don't work out, you still gotta see this dude every single day, knowing that he lied to you, knowing that he used you. If you're in a position that you could possibly look for another position in the same company, move to another section, move to another department, I would definitely consider doing that. Why torture yourself by seeing this liar and cheat every single day and if I were you I would let him know look I'm not interested in telling your wife what you did but if you keep pursuing me then I will so when I say I want you out of my face that's what I mean don't you ever call me write me text me act like you never knew me act like you forget my mother ever had me that's what I want from you but if you ever approach me again know that I will be calling your wife and letting her know that way you'll make sure he stays out of your life but I wouldn't believe anything that he says ever Everything that you guys have had has been built on a lie. You did a lot of things right. You did question him. You did ask the right questions. You did test him to make sure that it was true. But the one thing that you did wrong was the biggest thing is that you didn't verify what he told you before you allowed your feelings to get involved. Because once that happens, it gets messy. It's harder to cut it off once you've gotten so attached. So in the future, I definitely recommend that you pray first. God, show me what I'm not seeing. I'm, I'm, he seems too good to be true. If that's not the case, show me everything that I need to see. Take the rose colored glasses off of me. Show me God. Give me signs. Give me clues. Anyway, hope, I hope that you feel better, that you learn to trust yourself again. You did do a lot of things right. So that's the part that I really want to kind of convey to you. You asked the right questions. It's not your fault that he was a liar and a very convincing one. But if you get anything from this video, get this, trust, but verify. 
Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up if you did. If you want to hear more of my thoughts on life and love, consider purchasing one of my books. As I said, I've written three. The first one's called The Dating Game, How to Find Yourself While Looking for Mr. Right, my second book, Breaking the Man Code, The Key to Unlocking His Heart, and my third book, Getting Unstuck, How to Create the Life You've Always Wanted to Live. They're all available on Amazon, Kindle, BarnesandNoble.com. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, or if you'd like to have your letter submitted for a chance to possibly have it featured in an upcoming video, send me an email to itscoachshawn at gmail.com. That's itscoachshawn, S-H-A-W-N, at gmail.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Till next time, later divas and dudes. Deuces, honey.